Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And we've got a tutorial today on creating anime style speed lines in a sort of classical speed style effect. And I'll show you how to create this today with a simple sprite. And you can find everything on my Patreon. And you can also get access to over 120 different scripts and assets that you can't find anywhere else. So be sure to throw a like on this video because it would really, really help me out. First of all, what you want to do is you want to create a new particle by right clicking on your hierarchy choosing effects, choosing particle system. We're just gonna name this to anime speed lines. I'm just gonna call this classic. Then I'm gonna right click on the transforms and just click reset. So we're going to need to create a new material to hold the sprite that we're going to use for the effect. So in the project, right click, create and choose material. I've just renamed this to spike. Make sure that it's particles and standard unlit. Make sure that it's a rendering mode is fade so we can take into account transparency and then we'll just, I'm just going to use an image which you can get on my Patreon or it's just a triangle which is stretched really long, which is a 1024 canvas by 128. Make sure it's Sprite 2D UI. Add that to your Sprite material, then go down to the renderer on the particle system and drag the spike in there. Now what we need to do is make sure that we put the spike or the render mode onto stretch billboard so that we can stretch that particle out. Then we need to go to the top of our particle system and go to our 3D start size, which we can now adjust how we want this to look. So we could set the Y value to let's say about six because we're going to make this really long and thin. And then what we can do is go to shape, set it from cone to circle. We're going to set maybe the radius to around 20 because you can see it there. What I'm going to do is grab the rotate tool, just hold control and rotate this 90 degrees so we can see it and you can position this any way you want. So I'm gonna position it roughly in the center like that. We're going to set the radius thickness to zero because we don't need it to be really close to the center. Then if you also want to adjust how far in from the center it is, you can adjust the radius, but I'm going to leave it on around 20. Then we can go on to our emission and you can set that to around 100. You could set that to slightly less if you don't want to be, to be quite as hectic. We can set it to 75. We'll go back to the top and we'll set the duration to one because if we take off looping and just press play, it could just be a particle effect that we play once, but I'm gonna leave it on looping for this just to show. Then we can set our start speed to around 15. This could be higher if you want the effect more vivid in your face. You can set the start lifetime you can see here in my scene, if I set it down to two, we just get less particles around the edge. We could even set it to one if we don't need it, then it saves some performance. Then we can change possibly the color between two constants. So we can we have, like I did in the beginning, we have a red which goes to a, a slight another red. And then you could do a color over lifetime if you wanted to add two points here and then fade out when it spawns and when it ends like so if you wanted a more very subtle effect on the edges but this was a, just a simple way to create this style anime effect and i think it looks really cool and you can adjust all the effects to make it look faster or slower depending on what you need this to be so i hope you like this tutorial be sure to throw a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials, be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 120 scripts and assets, including this one right here. Come and join me on Discord and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with bonus discounts on my website. So thank you so much to all my patrons and all the amazing subscribers and everybody who comes to watch the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.